Matlinham, Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Storm, Forged Irish Stout. Delighted to be joined by Sean McComb. Sean, first off, incredible performance. Um, you've gone from strength to strength in your career. Um, picking up victories against a tough opponent in there tonight, Sam Maxwell. But you're hitting him at will at some points. So like you're going to force a stoppage midway through the fight. Just talk me through it. How do you feel? Yeah, you know what? It was, it was a good performance. Um, I'm very happy with uh, how it went and and how the game plan went, it was like I stuck to exactly what we planned and and old Sam's very dangerous. So I just had to stay focused and that was that was the key for, for getting the win tonight was focus. What's next for you? You know, you're on this run now, um, picked up titles, um, you're really kicking on, you seem to be getting better as the fights go on as well. Next year, twenty twenty four. Big year, big fights. Yeah, well, I mean, I've, I've, I've had a fantastic year this year. I mean, I've, I've, I've went from strength to strength, and um, the coaching I'm getting is, is, is second to none. And I just believe that the sparring I'm getting and, and the stuff I'm, I'm doing in my own training is, is just is just bringing me on that wee bit more. And, and I'm getting the best of myself. And I think um, pushing in the next year, and I just want big fights. As you say, the, 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 the bigger and the harder the fights, become on paper, the better I perform. Just quickly talk to me, Michael Conley just suffered defeat to Jordan Gill in devastating fashion. Um, credit to Jordan Gill, he's upset the apple cart here all week, people talking about what's next for Mick instead of what we're in front of him. I know he was locked in for this fight, but it's not gone his way, just talk me through it. Yeah, you know what, God, for Mick, I, I didn't get seen the fight, um, I was getting tested and I just heard there and I actually, I, mean, I, can't, I can't even believe it, I just can't believe it. That was. Uh, of all the scenarios, not one you pictured? No, not at all, not at all. I was telling most people this week that I think Mick could, could stop Jordan Gill and just, it's, 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 it doesn't even sound right to say it, like, that he's lost. Um, let's end it on sort of this. Um, it's a devastating result for Mick, but how much has he sort of inspired this wave of Irish boxing? We've got Conlon boxing, we're obviously now pro co-promoting with Matt June, but they're bringing young Irish talents along, obviously like yourself and other people, um, Fergus Quinn, um, you know, the list's endless. They've got a lot of talent. Um, how much has he sort of been that sort of beacon for fighters when they're coming through? He's, he's you know what, he set the stage for us all, every single one of us. We're very, very lucky to have had Mark. Um, to come in and, and we started his career in America and he came back to Belfast and he gave every single one of us, including myself, a platform and I'll be forever grateful for it. Um, as I say, Belfast has many fantastic fighters, but Mick had the platform, Mick had the, he, he was a star and and he's given us all that opportunity to fight on a big stage. Have you got a message to sign this off for all your fans, people that tune, tuned in, family, friends and everyone who got behind you to watch you be, um, be victorious tonight? Just keep coming out in numbers and I'll keep winning. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, great Sean McComb, always a pleasure. Thanks for your time. Thank you, lad.